What's going on YouTube? Back again with another video. I apologize for taking so long to get some up, man. I've just been honestly busy and busy with a hint of lazy because it's like the small amount of time that I have free. It's like, bro, I just, I just want to lay back. I just want to play some Apex. I just want to watch some One Piece. I've been on a One Piece binge lately. I've been, I've been watching at least what, 10, 10 episodes a day, 10 to 15 episodes of one piece right now and i am at um the part where luffy is trying to free ace his brother um from prison and i'm enjoying it man one piece is funny yo like one piece is like there's some like crazy you know there's some good action scenes not like it, it hasn't action wise and it hasn't like it's just been like a, a quick like quick damn you know what i'm saying like one of those but not like a full entire just all-out battle damn you know besides uh luffy and the dude from cp9 that was a good fight um but i'm been enjoying it man i'm at what episode where i'm in like the 400s now we're about to be up uh, somewhere in the 400s and uh I'm, I'm enjoying one piece but so right now i'm at the car dealership uh my lease is up for my infinity my q50 that i got in california uh three years ago and uh now i am about to buy it um Feel like I got a good price to buy out, so I'm about to buy it. So it's the first time I'm ever, I'm ever dealing with this. Uh, so I'm about to go into Infinity and figure out what 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 this whole process of, of buying it and stuff is, and you know, hopefully all is good. And then we'll go head to the gym and other stuff. So I'll be right back. So I've been here for about an hour so far. It's taken a pretty long time doing, I don't know, I guess I got like approval for financing or whatever. I mean, this is a 2019 Q50 Red Sport. Um, the price given is 28,000 and which I think is pretty good because when I was looking up, you know, TikTok has a way of just kind of showing you everything. And my girl had the idea to like you know look up TikTok, um, see what you need to do uh, for end of lease buys and stuff like that. And you know everybody was saying make sure you go look for how much your car is going for, and they give you you know a, a good deal. The car is going for I got thirty three thousand miles, thirty three thousand um, miles on this car. Once again, twenty nineteen Red Sport. This car is going from you know anywhere from thirty to thirty four thousand. Um, for for sale on our Carvana and stuff, and to be able to get it, you know, at 28,000, 28, like 20, 28 something, it was a pretty good damn deal. Um, I don't know, I'm not a car person like that, so you guys let me know, you know, was that a good deal or or not, you know? Uh, but you know, this is my first car. If you guys didn't know, you know, I lived in New York before, lived in California for hell, almost a year without a car, and. Um, it's getting expensive with Ubers and stuff, and um, yeah, and then, and then I'm a walker, so we we lived in Glendale um, in California, so we kind of just like walked anywhere, everywhere, and uh, you know, I'm more so of a homebody. I kind of stay around the area of home um, majority of, you know, the time, so I mean, I, there, I mean, I'm somewhat in a position where I can still walk to places, but it was just like, I'm too old for that, man. <laughs> I ain't got... Ain't nobody trying to walk everywhere no more. You feel me? Ain't nobody, ain't nobody got time to be a pedestrian. But, um, but yeah, so, you know, hopefully this, it works out or whatever. Cause I ain't gonna lie, my credit suck right now, boy. My credit's ass. Credit's ass. Saint, I'm about to say St. Louis. South Carolina, listen up. I will be coming out to South Carolina. We have a deadlift party at Core 24, I think. I think it's Core 24 Gym in South Carolina. Please pull up. Please come through. I'll put a link in the description. Just sign up. It's free. We just need a head count. So please do so. Um, I think they're calling me back in. Oh, man. We done. We're good. I'm driving off. I'm about to get a quick park workout in for you guys. Um, and then I'm going to work out again later. I'm going to get something to eat and work out later. But I am... Right. Alright, I'm staying in the second lane from right. I am super excited, man. I finally... I own my car now. I own my car. This is the first car. This is the first car I've ever like had. Well, I had the 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 sport version of this, and then Jeff was like, "Nah, bro, you gotta get the Use red the right sport." Lane to turn onto Dallas Parkway. 
then keep left to merge onto Dallas North Tollway South. So I got the red sport and my payments are high. I ain't gonna lie, like my payments are high on this car. Like it's high. And you know, now I'm paying I'm seeing almost four hundred dollars less. Um, but now I'm paying to buy. So the deal is good. Use the left lane to keep left to merge onto Dallas North Tollway South. The deal is good as long as I can pay it off sooner. If I if I if I do the actual long like the term of the lease, then I'm gonna be like I'm I'm gonna be paying so much more. You know, so Stay much more. So much more. So as long as I'm I pay it off uh, sooner, then it, it was a good deal. Alright, so babe just spin it up. Hello workout. She's about to help me film. Uh-huh. She's about to help me film this little outdoor workout. And uh, I wanted to do some on the track, but I also want to start working on some. I'm, start, I'm starting to work on calisthenic workouts, man. You know what I'm saying? I got this home fit gym. I don't know if you saw my video when I was in Houston. I was using this uh, right here. It's portable. So we're literally going to put it right here, do some calisthenic stuff, and get some uh, some drills in while I'm at the track. This is, this, is, this is what I'm talking about. Right here. You got this right here. Just this. Just this. And that. Getting that work in. <laughs> it's ten pull ups, twenty dips. And then a 200 down and back. I was going to do that like six times. So we'll probably start out with that, see how that works. Also, for the last time, the video, you have these parts right here on the side that are meant to tighten your poles in right here. I didn't have these in last time, so that's why it was wobbly. And uh, yeah, because I don't, I don't follow directions. But you put these in on the side. I'm, I'm doing it real quick. about 20 seconds mountain climbers 10 reps on the dips 10 reps on the pull-ups down and back for the track all right I don't know what speed I'm gonna go today I don't know you know this is about endurance you know we have to endure the physicality of which is this moment right here you understand what I'm saying you understand the sweat that I have on my face and I haven't even started yet you hear me all right but with the power of these shades and uh, the abilities to get laid, we're going to make this work. <laughs> <laughs> Can't, can't explain. Can't explain. It's got to be, it's got to be a tough, tough little five, five set battle. I feel like the first is always the hardest. Yeah, cause it's kind of like oh, you know, and you kind of like, yeah, no. The first one's like a humble, it's like a humble beginning, right? And then when you when you know what to expect, it's like all right, and then you can pace yourself better. But yeah. I ain't in the best shape. I'm 240 shape right now. You know? That's all. That's all, baby. All right.
it's all about getting out of your comfort zone, you know? There's comfort and then there's a zone you're in, right? You wanna get out of that cum first. You feel me? You gotta get out of that semen. You gotta get out of it. <laughs> it's a very sticky situation, you know? Chicken. Okay, see you in a bit. I'm done, bro. Go, go check out my Instagram. Go see, see the rest. Came to Kava after the workout. Normally I go for Chipotle, but I've been liking Kava a little bit more lately. Hopefully this one ain't like the other one yesterday. I just did an insane post for Instagram, but guess, bro, guess what just came in, yo? Guess what just came in? You see this right here? These are knee sleeves, if you didn't know. If you're not smart enough to know. These are knee sleeves, bro. And with these, you have the power of Aaron Yeager and the whole 100,000 Colossal Titans right here. You know what that means? With all that power, it's still only a 1% chance that you'll PR. But still, it's a lot. A lot of power, all right. And guess what? We got under this boom wrist wraps, bro. This is so dope, bro. This is the goat. This is why they're the goat, right here. And last but not least, last but not least, bro. Come on, man. You'll feel like a warrior with this joint on. And you know what else you can do? Use code aftermath link below in the description because bro this is that fire yeah i'm gonna wear this and i'm gonna wear the coat i got boo boo all right so we got my current stack right now we have the growth formula which i take before my workouts the bulk which bulk is this yeah this is the lemon lime lemon lime bulk creatine hmb and then my favorite the cinnamon french toast protein right here right now weigh 28 grams of protein 30 servings 0 0.5 grams of fat and one gram of carbs so this is what i'm doing though beef stay beefy get treefy and roll leafy it's like no nah, I, don't, I don't roll leaf uh but i'm getting ready to work out uh as y'all saw earlier ooh, there was still water in that ew i just saw earlier i was uh outside doing some training came home i ended up we ended up going to kava they didn't have any pita so we walked out and um I messed up. I ended up going to uh, I ended up going to freaking Panda Express. So that's that. But been chilling here, watching One Piece episode 553. Luffy is trying to save Ace. Um, they're going to the Navy headquarters. It's crazy right now, man. Yo, the Impel Down, Impel Down, little art breaking out of jail and stuff, man. <laughs> you haven't watched one piece it's like it's just getting better and better as it goes on at first it, it took me like five times to really watch i swear i've watched the first episodes like a few episodes like five times bro and i'm just like man this is nah, nah yo i'm on that joint. i've been watching like 10 10 to 15 episodes a day seriously All right, we made it to the Jizzy. Straight Rizzy. What? What you forget? Headphones? No, my headband. Oh. Nah, I thought about it. Go in there and look in the mask, girl. You good? All right, so it's a packed gym. Literally, like, there's nowhere for me to go. And uh, these guys have decided to let me join them 
and they're benching. They just started. So what are we working up to? About 500? You know it. You know? About five? Maybe 550. Maybe 550? Yeah. I feel you. <laughs> what's going on everybody today we got bench these guys were super dope enough to uh let me join in i haven't like joined in somebody's workout in forever um but there was a powerlifting competition set up uh no i'm not a part of it <laughs> not right now uh but i just decided to go to this gym uh it's, it's 35 minutes away it's pretty long so I, I rarely go there maybe maybe twice you know in a week um but and it's always at late late time. Um, so you see me doing push-ups, man, because I kind of just jumped into their set. They were already going. Uh, I think two, two, four, I mean, 255s were on, which is like, what, 245? Uh, so I jumped in at like 245. I think that's the right number. If it's not, please correct me. Uh, but I thought it was pretty dope um, to just come in here and just kind of, you know, get like a feel um, of just kind of what it's like to be on a platform i mean this is not one of the bigger stages like i've seen you now like the expos of course this is at this gym uh but you know it was it was just powerlifting central at this gym this is absolute free comp everybody was there just kind of getting their sets and reps in on the bench on the deadlifts on the squats everybody's mingling tingling um you know just motivating each other i thought it's a pretty cool you know community man oh i messed up right there that's why you re-racked it i put the wrong weights because i'm stupid um and i don't know how to read kgs <laughs> uh and these guys are 19 man it's crazy how just like you guys are just growing and developing um so soon in the uh fitness space um uh, because you know like for me I, I was i mean i'm not trying to like toot my own horn here but you know I was, I was blessed with um you know knowing how to train uh getting things kind of like properly early um i was always one of the better workout people um all my life pretty much especially in like football or sports basketball you know people would coach would tell us what to do and then they would come to me to tell you know for me to tell them what to do or how to do it right and stuff like that and it's always been like that for me but now um fitness and the youth and powerlifting is becoming more of a, a thing because it wasn't a thing when i was growing up it wasn't i didn't know anything about powerlifting maybe bodybuilding um actually i didn't know about bodybuilding until like after into like college um but yeah man it's the development now at such a young age is crazy and um just like understanding how to train learning um but right now as you see um i'm not doing anything specific i just kind of worked up to a top set and then uh, focused on just some other chest and tricep exercises which you'll see in a moment um but this was 463 right here with the village hitting the iron wrist wraps you know y'all don't even see me wear wrist wraps like that and today i decided to wear some wrist wraps i'm having issues with my shoulder uh, right now i don't know if there's like a, it's just kind of like frozen shoulder i don't know if there's a tear or something in it um but it's been bothering me so i haven't been benching much uh, probably like once and a half a week right now just get myself prepped and ready um this is 473 um as i'm getting closer and closer to um you know a possible debut powerlifting you know i'm pre-preparing right now i'm not preparing but i'm pre-preparing you know it's like it's just kind of, i'm just kind of fitting certain cues of training in my you know in my lifts which is like that was pause reps stuff like that um just to focus on and then um just kind of you know move on from there still doing some volume some growth stuff majority of the time as you see right now i'm doing the incline uh machine with about what 15 12 10 8 and i just kind of stick to that pyramid set um for everything um it's either i stick to a pyramid set or i stick to the same number you know like set to 20 set to 12 but i prefer doing um a pyramid set of you know 20 15 10 8 or whatever i just like to be able to you know of course put more weight on the next set and then you know drop the reps um, i've felt over time that has been the best for me for growth and strength you know a nice balance it's not a fast-paced growth um you know if you guys don't know me and haven't seen my videos in a while or haven't watched my journey since i started youtube 
you 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 won't understand that you know nothing has been fast for me um you've never seen me bulk you rarely have you know seen me cut i've always been in like a maintenance stage and i think over time that's worked best for me to be able to you know do what i'm able to do you know so this is a message to everybody like hey you can still you know you don't have to really bulk um you know to get size but you have to be patient um and you know one one year i'm 230 three years later you know i'm 240 age will put weight on you man so hey just take your time and uh appreciate you guys for watching this video got something to say at the end but uh yeah the full workout will be in the description so definitely check that out and uh yeah all right guys back at the crib looking at my rib show you how i live in my father's house <laughs> <laughs> we ready to move man we ready to move we just we just trying to gather gather our samurai thoughts and shave our butts um you know where that's from comment right now um and um sacrifice a small goat so it's just like we just trying to get our shit together get ready and, and then on top of that we like we trying to we're trying to find out you know do we want to move to houston which we're going to move to houston everybody's moving to houston i feel like houston is definitely the wave is definitely be good for us i think we'll, we'll we'll i feel like if we live there we'll eventually like it we know people we know we people, know we know people out there you know uh i mean i got like you know some high school friends and stuff out here but other than that i don't really know anybody out here in dallas like that that i really like hang out with or can do stuff with um so yeah we're we're planning on it but once again if you haven't heard if you've been subscribed to my channel for a while, uh, I've been telling people to unsubscribe and resubscribe. Um, if you've been on my channel for over a year, so please do so. Don't open notifications and stuff. Um, even today at the gym, the guys that I was shooting with, he was like, "Man, I haven't seen any notification from you in years." And uh, yeah, I'm trying to trying to fix that right now. So that being said, do that. Code to Ron, 10% off Transparent Labs, grab some of that. And uh, Village Hidden Iron, Code Aftermath, grab some of that as well. Catch you guys later. I'm about to make some steak and rice for Babe. I want some Hawaiian bros. I've been kind of like on a on a thing with them. I'm in, in a relationship with this place. Because I, I, I was like, I, only, I didn't know if I liked it like that the first time I had it. But now I'm like, damn, I've really been craving it. So, yeah. Here's to me being a fat ass. And here's to you being awesome. Peace out. Thank you.